Peter Von Panda here. Just uh, received this NeoGrab smartphone holder mounting with one hand. How does that work, you say? Well, here's the box. This is how it comes. Uh, cellophane sleeve. Nice packaging uh, manufactured in Korea. Home of the Panda. Um, and let's just get this sucker open. Um, this is an interesting mount. And I know you're saying, wow, there are a lot of... A lot of mounts out there you know what makes this one interesting and the first thing i will um throw out here is that the neo grab is cool for two, for one reason in particular its design um first i can tell you right now it's got this switch here looking at it and that draws in this bottom so it's got a suction cup bottom and it also has interestingly um uh it adhesive or it's not actually a sticky adhesive it's just kind of like a um kind of like one of those slingy hands it's kind of like that slimy uh hard gelatin so it's sticky um but yet seems like it's removable it's got this paper uh um piece there so you can kind of put it on something but it doesn't look like it'd be permanent and on top of that it's got a suction cup so it looks like it'll really hold it down so if you have uh your dashboard um, the texture of the dashboard uh, is such that a suction cup wouldn't stick to it. I think this might actually stick to it. It would fill in the little gaps in a in a textured dashboard and the suction cup would really hold it down. But the nice thing about this is I call it the Sleepy Alien. The, the mount is one-handed. Let me grab my iPhone 5 here. Um, because the the clamps are offset a little bit. So you can slide your phone in here, open it up, and then put... The bottom in there so you only need one hand obviously i'm using two because i'm holding it uh, which is a cool unique feature and then you should can certainly get this mounted where you want but uh um it snaps in there i'm going to show you i'm going to give this thing a whirl and uh, report back with uh, my my experiences on it but so far i definitely think it's uh pretty unique and cool one of the other things that i wanted to point out about this neograv smartphone holder is that the um it's on kind of a ball joint, kind of like a gimbal here. Uh, it can be tightened down uh, with this uh, this um, this screw here, this nut. And the nice thing is you can tilt this forward or back to get uh, the phone when you install it at any angle you want for viewing. But then it can also be tilted side to side. And why that's important is that, you know, you're, if you're going to mount this on the dashboard of your car, there's usually a pretty good curve or crown to that dashboard for style purposes. And so you don't have to worry about your phone being cockeyed and i'm going to go out in the car and show you what that uh why that's important right now all right guys now i'm in the car i mounted the uh, neo grab onto the dash and as you might be able to tell here uh, my dash has a little bit of uh kind of a bubble um texture kind of a rhino skin so it's not flat it's not it's certainly not a, a shiny smooth surface but uh the slight adhesive nature of the cushion on the bottom of the pad plus the suction cup make the neo grab very very stable so i drove with this all the way home highways uh um, side roads i mounted the phone in and out of the and removed it from the stand several times no problems it's it's nice because it's not one of those 3m double-sided sticky pads that is completely permanent or holds the mount in place or shows residual parts of the sticky tape long after you've removed the mount so uh, that's the great news about it my my one quibble with it is that when you have a phone mounted into the stand one of the bad things is that it actually stands up pretty tall and as you can see from a driving position it does take up it does uh, uh, block a portion of your um of the road and probably as much as kind of the rearview mirror does at the top and so that's something to keep in mind unless you have a little bit lower dashboard uh, that might not um, require as much of your windshield space the other thing that i've noticed is that um you uh it's a it uh once you remove the phone, then the mount isn't obviously as obtrusive, you know, because it's really that top piece that 
uh, moves up and down and so when you move it out actually it's it's really not bad so if you're using something that is um, as small as an iPhone that it's probably not a bad deal like I have with the iPhone 5 here but if you're using something like a Galaxy S or a Note or something with a five or six inch screen or even bigger, which I don't even know it would fit, that could be pretty problematic in my opinion. So just keep that in mind. Um, the nice thing about the lip, and again, it, you can use one-handed operation because of the way those uh, the, the clamps are offset. They do have a little rubber padding in there, so it's uh, nice and grippy. Uh, the other thing I, noticed on here is that there are two push buttons on the front and the back so you can actually um, rem remove the clamp part and reverse it now why I bring that up is you could do two a couple things with it one you could get multiple mounts and mount them on your windshield or on the dash and you don't have to remove the mount you can just get new clamps um, but the the other idea was that you might be able to mount it a little lower on the dash or somewhere that most other mounts wouldn't fit and then uh, be able to uh, keep the, the the clamp a little lower on my car there isn't really a good spot to do that but maybe your car uh, has that option and so like I said even uh, though this texture this sucker is on there really really well so uh, a nice piece maybe a little tall for most car applications but again this is such a versatile mount you don't have to just use it for for the car so i will be back with more applications so guys here in my office and uh you know i'm in front of my computers and one of the things that i like about this mount is you don't have to just use it in a car or one of those places that you always use mounts uh this mount sticks great to the desk i actually mounted it here on a the, uh, crack between the two portions of my desk and that sticky base keeps it in place without a problem so I've had no problems with that and I, and I did that not only because to prove the point that it doesn't have to have suction uh, because the the, uh, the 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 cushioned base is so sticky um, but I also did it because it's right between my two monitors and a lot of times I like watching my podcasts uh, on the uh and the iphone or listen to them or stream pandora or whatever it may be and it's just nice to have them right in front of you and so you can easily throw in your smartphone or whatever you have into the mount right there um it's super easy to get to and uh, you know it's just a nice uh convenient place to have it uh especially if um i also have this other mount here which is a great little mount it's magnetic and it's got a suction cup but if your phone doesn't have a flat back or you a lot of people put a case or a skin or something like that or a lot of phones have a little bit of a curve or an air release textured backing to them and so uh the suction cups don't work very well for that but this uh neo grab is absolutely perfect because you can absolutely have any kind of backing you want and it doesn't uh and it doesn't affect uh the the functionality of the mouse. So just another awesome application. I'm going to keep this one in my office.